we're going to do some things to the Lincoln, some changes that are going to be pretty bold, and then we're, there's some things we're just not going to mess with. I love the I love the nostalgia of the dash on the car. I don't really want to mess with that. I, the, the radio in it's got the old eight track in it. When I bought the car, it had a Rolling Stones eight track in it. We're going to keep that in there. It had a Waylon Jennings eight track in the glove box. We want to keep that in there. I love the door handles on the car. The, the suicide doors, just that look is just really awesome. Well, there's some things we'll do uh, with maybe a console, some some different, make the seats comfortable, ergonomical. So what we're thinking about doing is adding a panel here. That way all the sheet metal has the line going through here. And we're gonna cut the bumper here, and then obviously we're gonna tuck the bumper in. We're gonna get rid of these moldings, we're gonna get rid of these moldings, and a few other little custom things that we're gonna do. But for the 62, 63 Lincolns, their fenders were already lower. They just changed the design here. We like the idea of having the fender and the body lines all being the same level coming down. So we want to we want to get the car setting right. Whether that be if it's just sitting in a parking lot at a certain level, or if we're driving the car, we want the stance to to really speak, say a lot about the car. Because we're actually uh, narrowing the rear end on this car uh, two inches. And we're doing that so the wheels will set in inside the car, inside the fender wells. Uh, we didn't really, we didn't want to tub the car. We didn't want to take the inner fender wells, cut them out, and tub them. That's not the look we're looking for. But we did. When we talk about stance, which I talk about that all the time, that's just going to be a subtle thing that you're going to see the way that those tires and wheels sit inside those fender wells that are going to set it off. And that's not anything that honestly you would know exactly what we did just by looking at the car. You just know there's something different there. You just love the way it sits. So to get the suspension and the stance set the way we want to, we're going to use the chopping block suspension parts. We're going to use the Accu Air air ride suspension. We're going to also use a Holly fuel injection system on it. Uh, we're using forge line wheels. And to get that paint to pop the way we want it, we're going to use a BASF line of paint. For the most part, we want the car to still look like a 66 Lincoln, not some type of futuristic vehicle. We wanted to drive like it did in 1966 because that was just a beautiful ride. It's a very comfortable car to drive.